Hi folks, and uh, nothing to uh, in mind to, to paint, I'm just going to start. This is the uh, Fabriano £130 studio practice paper, uh, 15 inches by 11. Let's give it a wash to start with, and we'll take it from there. Done quite a few oils lately. I've been experimenting with the, the broad strokes in the oil painting. Right, okay, so we'll get some, uh, let's get some raw sienna in there. A bit of red. That will hardly show, so we'll just make it a little bit stronger. Okay, well that uh, comes from years of practice. I will put a few bits of uh, cloud in. Just mix the red and the blue and remove any hairs. There's one there. Put a bit of water in, so let's just put that across there just to remind me. And we've got a nice blazing bit of yellow. Um, the uh, colours, I'll tell you, I, I've, got, I've got eight colours on my palette. They're the usual ones I always use, with the exception of this cadmium yellow light, which is an artist quality. Uh, it's beautiful, rich, oh, rich uh, colour. Uh, where are we? This one here. Uh, it was ten pounds a tube. I bought two twenty-one mil tubes of it. It's lasting for ages and ages, so it's well worth buying a tube of that if you don't want to use the uh, cadmium yellow pale. Uh, and then we got uh, raw sienna. Alizarin Crimson, I don't use much of that, that's why it's all solid. Uh, light red, I do. Ultramarine, I don't use the burnt umber very often. Payne's Grey and Burnt Sienna. You can mix burnt umber with uh, burnt sienna and a bit of Payne's Grey. Uh, so we're letting that dry off a little bit. Clean the brush. Move, move my uh, inseed oil. Uh, right, you see what's happening, it's, it's soaking in, but it's got a quite an angle, 30 degree angle, and it's, it's the weight of it is the water is pulling the colour down into the, into the foreground, which is lovely. You never quite know how these, how these uh, are going to work out. Uh, so I'm going to give that a help and dry it off a bit. So I, I mentioned the colours on the palette because somebody asked me on Facebook, what, what is my palette? I thought, well, if you actually looked at the videos, the, the oil paints, I know, the watercolour videos, and there are very many of them on Facebook, they could go to YouTube and, and, and find in the archive. They've got thousands of pictures, and, and, and I'm sure I, I described the palette in, the, the, in most of the of the demos so I did uh, sort of chide him a little bit because I thought well you, you're looking at the the, 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 the free uh, videos on, or uh, photographs and commenting on Facebook yet you don't go further than that and learn to do the, do the painting anyway let's get that a dry so take your headphones off folks
Okay, great though, I'm really pleased with that. Right, I'm now going to go in with some. Uh, uh, Find my medium ink, there it is, Heidi. I've put in some background trees. Uh, I've, I've, I've now sort of got an idea that put some background trees in and get some a bit of an island here. And we'll see how that goes. So, um, Payne's Grey, Payne's Grey, and a bit of a bit of this, a bit of that, and a little bit of that yellow, just to give it a a landscape look. There we are. And we'll just go across here. Very, very light touch. Barely touching the paper. You can do this with sables and squirrel hair brushes or script brushes, they're very good. But I choose to use the the hank because I've always used it since for f f 45 years. Well, the, I belong to an art, I did belong to an art club. Um, and a video of Ron Ransom demos were making the rounds from the club and, and I uh, borrowed it and it changed my life, I can tell you. I couldn't get a hate quick enough and I've been using it ever since. Occasionally I, I do have a little go with uh, with the uh, sables but uh, I, like, I like the effect you get with this. Right, okay, let's just drag that over a bit. Right, All right let's do a bit of an island. We'll uh, use the large hake for that. Uh, and the nice colour mix is, uh, is the burnt, burnt sienna and uh, and the cabin yellow pale. A bit darker, it's just. Might even put a building or something on this. Don't know. There. I like to get this down to the corners because I've got a mount that just about fits the size but if I leave the corners behind the clips well it doesn't work. Okay so there's, there's one. Uh, I might, oh yes I think I will. I'll take that background across so I can paint over the trees. So let's just get a bit of what I had. Also, the uh, the beauty of uh, of, of a, a, a very limited palette, like eight colour. I'm using eight colours here. Um, is that you don't get so confused with with the other twelve. And this is a problem with with, with uh, beginners. You get so carried away. You buy all the gear, all the stuff that you're never going to use. Alright, so let's uh, see what happens here. Alright, okay, well we've got that running down the page, haven't we? So, so let's just mop it up a bit. I don't really like lifting out, it's uh, sort of gone a bit wrong there. Never mind. We can cope with that. Uh, I'm going to clip right in front of the uh, Payne's Grey. A 
the shadow on that side. That can breathe in. Now what I've got right, it's nice and juicy, I'll oh, get a card. That won't work on there because it's too dried and it's too far back. Uh, right, okay, so we can fiddle around with that in a minute. Uh, Let's go over to the other side and do more or less the same, but just a bit different. So we'll have the burnt shadow and the burnt umber, oh, and the paint spray, and then the yellow. So this one's a bit further back. So I'm just covering in that bit of background now. Oh, I'm whistling again. I do whistle, I get carried away. When I get lost in the painting, I, I start making funny whistle noises. together. So the, the, the brush the bristles do separate. So you just waggle it on the board a bit and it comes out nice and, and straight or flat. Oh, I want a bit more brush in that yellow in there. You just mix your colours, the ones that you're using. Bit of reflection there. All right, let's get a couple of trees in there. Not too big. I could do pines, but I've, I've started now. Just got that down there, got a bit of that yellow in there. It won't show, it's getting a bit. Use a, a small hake, I think, for that. Um, put in a bit of a leafage down here. texturing. I don't put much out, much of this yellow out at the time because I, I try to preserve it a bit, make it last a bit longer. So I'm going to mark in there, put the, the uh, card through it. Don't overdo this. Just a little goes a long way. A lot, I just read a picture. I think I'm going to take those up a little bit higher.
texture on, on that uh, side. Not you think you look at it, think, oh, I wish I hadn't done that. But once it's done, it's done, isn't it? So I'll just put a few bits of that. Uh, I'm an old Fletcher Watson, a great English watercolourist. The demonstration he did for us at the art club. Um, he uh, goes to great lengths to, to do blades of grass. Rather than lift them out the easy way. Uh, I want to get some lighter stuff in this. Yeah, it looks like we're going downhill a bit, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, right, uh, I'm going to give that a dry. I don't, I don't want to complicate it because it's quite a nice painting as it is, I think. I don't like that shape there, so I will put a bit of that, that in. It's, a, it's, a, it's quite opaque, this colour, when used straight out of the tube, as I'm doing. All right, there we are. Uh, no, not really. We want that coming up there. Yeah, a bit of paint's grey, so let's just. I want it, that's a bit, that's a bit better. Put some shadow in. Okay, I'll just change that. Right, uh, not quite. Right, uh, I'm fiddling it to death. I'm just going to dry it, so I just want to put a bit of wet. I just want to show some of that coming through here. So, headphones off. So a little bit of uh, this might go wrong, but a bit of uh, light to uh, bit of the raw sienna. Just a little tint. I don't want to put the blue in, the blue's are behind all this here. So we'll leave that. I'll just put some birds in. Uh, why not? Palette grey. Oh, 
Oh no, that'll do. Put it carefully back into the tube. Ah, cool. The magnifying glasses. Right, there we go. Let's put it in a mount, so I'll just uh, put that cloth up there to dry and I can use that again. I've got a number of ladies that, that save their toweling that they would otherwise throw away or use as polishing cloths to clean the car. Uh, and now they, they save it and give it to me because I use loads of it doing oil paintings. Um, right, okay, now mount. lost there, the legs going around, but I'm not going to change it. I'm quite pleased with that. Let's uh, give it a signature. Always sign your work, just in case, because you never know who's going to like it. Hope you like that one, folks. Uh, I'll just bring it out a little bit. There we go. No man-made clutter in there. Uh, just, just a uh, uh, texture, making it look as if there's a lot when there isn't. That's the art of texture. It's good there, but not so good here. It's a bit, bit muddy there, but, uh, but uh, yeah, anyway. It's a painting. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.